I, this is as low as my fucking tripod angles. Okay, to get your dumbbell, buy the fat handle one. So this is an axle handle. It'd probably be easier for you if you even have the, the standard dumbbells, like the thinner ones. Also, this belt that I'm using is a little short. I don't know, but it's probably gonna be better for you since the handle is gonna be uh, thinner. But you get a belt, okay? I have like 15 pounds loaded right here, two fives. You can do it with two and a half, two actually. It's just, it's easier when the dumbbell is higher. So basically, take the belt, okay? I'll do it actually from your perspective, okay? So you take the belt and you put it down in a U, U shape, okay? U. And then you roll the dumbbell over it and you make sure that the U is still in the, you see this? It's still in the U shape, like that. I actually have to flip it now because I put it on my fucking foot, but it's in the U shape, okay? You see that? It's in the handle. I'm gonna use my right foot for this. So you slide your foot over like the, the, the arc of the U. Like if it's a parabola over the origin, right there. Okay, so you have the two loose ends right here. You put the foot like that in like this okay then you have the buckle end and the loose end okay you probably want the loose end to be longer just because then it's easier to secure in the back i actually i'm gonna reset it just because this is backwards there's no no difference but i like the the smooth side up so you take this and you probably want to make this side a little bit longer. So you don't make it a fully even U. You, you, you lengthen the loose end. And then you get something like this. Don't make the, the buckle end so short because then it won't work well. But make it like this. You see that? Yeah. Then you take this buckle end. And naturally it's going to be straight like that. You see? You're going to want to fold it in on your foot so it's more neutral like this. Okay? On the other hand, you do the same thing on this side. It's gonna be a little difficult, but it might be easier for you. I don't know, because you got the thinner handle. Okay, like that. Now, you have both ends and they're neutral like this. You take the loose end, wrap it around your ankle. You can wrap it around your, I'll try to rotate my foot, wrap it around the shoe. I can do this, very surprisingly, even though the belt is so narrow. You might wanna do here, because it won't be able to fall off as much because your, your shoe's in the way. But you could also do here. I've done here with perfect success. Like that's what I was doing. It was working perfectly fine. I want to do that even for the example. Then wrap it around the back of the ankle and put it into the buckle. As you see, mine's pretty short, but yours is probably going to fit in easier. Okay. Then you take the buckle. I'm going to have to pull on it real hard. Okay. You see how it's in, in the buckle? I'm going to pull on it real hard. You're probably going to have to pull in it a little less. But I have to tighten it, tighten it. And there's a lot of slack, actually, which is weird. There's a lot of slack still left in here. It doesn't seem like it. But I can yank on that. And then I yank until the first hole is open. If your belt's longer, you can probably just adjust. But this is very tight. This is nice on my shoe. Then put down the pin and fasten the belt as you would normally. Put it in there. So now it's on this side. That's why we made the, the, the tail end longer so it's on the side instead of right on the back. Right on the back might be a little bit irritating to your ankle. So I did it on the side. And now, to attach your foot, and it's so damn secure, if I rotate my feet, the dumbbell rotates with it. It's not even like it's loose at all. That's that. You can do everything, including like hamstring curls, like hip flexor stuff tib raises. I'm going to try to set up a tib raise so you can see it. I'm going to move the bench. Okay. Okay. Angle the camera up a little bit. Give me a second. Okay. You don't have much range of motion, it's better if it's at the end, but this still works perfectly fine. This works very well. And then, ham curls are a little bit harder to show, but you get the idea, alright? 